All right, next thing we do is cut down this uh, burning race here. Or not burning race, seal race, excuse me. First thing I do is zero out your caliper. These dial ones are always moving around. All right, that's zeroed out. Let's see what we need. 2.215. This one is at 305, so it's basically 100 thou bigger. 90 thou, close enough. Okay, so we gotta turn this thing down. Basically 100 thou. Chucking up on your seal space, your seal area is not a good thing to do, but. Oh well. Close enough. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this thing down a little bit. Shouldn't be very hard. That bit's really dull. Either way, it didn't cut much. And there's our interruption for the day. Hello. bearing race is extremely hard. Maybe coming off on blue powder. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the sparks every now and then, but it's sparking. A little faster, it'll cut better. Maybe not. Well. Alright, got a number in there. 
Yeah, so they decided to make these things full hard. Yeah. Well, that makes an interesting note, doesn't it? Alright, so. Didn't do any damage to this seal area because it's heat treated. Didn't hurt anything. I'm going to still sand it a little bit. Check on this part I just did. Put a little sandpaper on there just to make sure there's nothing there catching the seal up. Don't want to do any damage to our seal, obviously. Yeah, carbide cutters probably seen better days now. Oh well. Sacrificial. grind this on a grinder to get this edge off because it's really sharp. At least now we're down to the same diameter as this one. So that was definitely a plus. Alright. Let's go for a walk. Whew. It's a cold rainy day. Again. cool back here. Okay, so we're going to try to grind this on my grinder right here. I just want to deburr it. So I'm just going to grind on this edge right here. So I just want to make sure it's not too sharp right there. But you got to be careful you don't catch a seal area. If you touch the seal area, it's junk. So don't do that. places. I did like about a 45, this one did more like about, about a 80, 75 degree probably. Okay, now there's no sharp edge at all on it. Didn't nick the race up any. 
Got the plus. Let's smooth on that side. All right, clean this all up. We're back. Okay, we're back. Ooh, cold around here. Okay, we need to do some bearings here. So I don't think I got enough four overs on this bag, so I'll open up a new bag here. Yeah, it's my last bag of these. I'm running out of them. These are the V twin ones, so they're not as good as the other ones. At least I don't like them as well. Let's see. I'm going to keep from losing all of these bearings. I think there's a way to keep from losing them all. A good handful of them. Probably more than half, so probably got more than I need. Oh well. Better have too many, not enough, right? All right. Just right there. There's a couple different ways of putting these in here. You can put the gear up in here. You gotta make sure you put the washer on this thing. Thrust washer. start laying rollers in here that's one way of doing it if you want to do it dry that's the only way to do it okay the other way of doing it is you goop this up with grease for later rolls all in here try to put it in that way that doesn't even work too good the other way is you can use this as a backstop go in here and goop up the race in here inside of here and you can see it a little bit Pack the rollers all in here, line them all up, and then put the gear through that and do it that way. That one works somewhat better, but depends on how loose this goes on. This one doesn't go on here very well, so it doesn't go on very, goes on pretty tight, so that wouldn't work very good on this one. This one over here fits pretty loose, so that would work good on this one. See? This one's round. Obviously, when they heat treated this, they warped a little bit, so it's not round. Okay. So, for now, I think I'm just going to pick them in there and see what we need. A little small screwdriver, a pair of pliers. This will take a while. Now, this should be a uh, half a thou clearance, maybe six tenths on the tight side. And then it goes up uh, from there. It'll go up a half a thou to six tenths above that. So that'll put us at about one. 1.3 thou clearance, 1.4 on the loose spot. Now if you can get these in here all the way around the circle right off the bat, that's a good sign. If you can't, that means it's way too small. Okay, looks like they're all going in here, so that's a plus. So this might actually work. That'd be different. Of course, you got to find the tight spot. Until they're all in there, you don't know where the tight spot is. why they don't do trainings this way anymore. See how long it takes to do anything? It takes forever. Nowadays you just use a pre-fitted ball bearing and you're done. 
Let me put a loose ass needle bearing in there. It's really loose. I'll do it that way. Back in the old days, I thought it was supposed to be a nice tight fit. I found out it doesn't have to be. But if it is too tight, here's the problem. Too loose, it just rattles around. Makes the seal work more because it's bouncing all over the main shaft. But they don't care about leakage. You need that, did you? In case you want to know how many times I got to do this, it's if I don't drop any, it's 44 times. So many rollers are in here. So I'm about halfway. So greasing would have been quicker, but I didn't know if it was going to work or not. I think it's going to work just fine. I could have stopped and changed and went back and greased and did it quicker. And I gotta be in here waiting. I'll be back in here anyway, so. This is just a mock up. I'm not finished by a long shot. One reason why I don't like magnetic tools. They're rollers that come right back out with you. Plus, if you work with roller bearings too often, if you have tools that are magnetic, the rollers become magnetic. That means the particles of metal will stick to the roller and make it not roll anymore. Start sliding. And a roller that slides and then roll wears out quickly. One more reason why I don't like magnetic tools. Okay, they are all in there. Okay, good deal. It's not tight. This is a tight direction right here. Feels good. Definitely not tight. Tight is bad. Up and down's got a lot more clearance because that's the loose way. So here it's a little tighter. Okay, so that should work. Now, push that on. There's an end plate check in here. You can actually change the thrust washer in these which adjusts this end plate. Feels like you got can take out some of that. Feels like it's a good 10 on there at least. Yeah, more than that. Shit, it's probably 20 in there. Assuming it's all in there tight. A little bit looser than I like it to be for these kind of jobs. So I think we're going to do is we're going to try a little bigger rollers. We'll try some eights, see what they feel like. Even though these should be good, they feel pretty loose. And yeah, we have a little bit of in play in there, so I want to change out that thrust wash to a little bit thicker one. See if I can't tighten it up a little bit on that way also. Get this stuff to be a little bit tighter. So, all right, I'll be back after I get that all back together. We'll see what it looks like. 
Okay, I just tried 810 spare rings and they don't go at all. They're tight. So they kind of go in just a little bit, but not quite. The gear is tight. So they won't go in all the way. So we know it's, we got less than 8 tenths clearance. You got at least seven. Now I wonder if these damn bearings of V-twin had were undersized. Be my guess. Okay, these ones are six. Ones I just put in. And the V-twin ones I just used. See, I didn't measure them. I just assumed they were good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My fucking dumbasses. All right, so their rollers are, instead of being oversized, are undersized. Half a thou. That's why they felt so loose. See, we're, we're under zero. These are supposed to be oversized. And we're at five tenths here, so we're half a thou under. So, typical uh, V twin quality. These are not four tenths up, they are negative five tenths. That's why things didn't feel right. See, this one here is half a thou over, because it's six tenths over. So, that's the difference. V twin crap as usual. Nothing new about that. All right, so these need to be marked off as being undersized. So these are negative point oh 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 five loose. Loosey goosey. Not four tenths over. Four tenths under. Okay, junk. These minor size rollers, I got them. Okay, so that's why that didn't fly. Okay, these are eight tenths. measure all of these to see if they're all the same. Let's see how these came from the same vendor. I think we're okay. These are one tile over. Not even the size they make. Okay, now these came from B twin here, so let's see what these are supposed to be. They're supposed to be eight tenths. Let's see what we get this time. That's why you gotta measure stuff. You can never trust a damn thing. Okay, these are actually oversized. These are six tenths. Okay. So these are the eight tenths. So these ones are made correctly. Is that a bag? Junk. Alright. These are four tenths. I don't think there's quite enough in here to do a full set. They'll be close. Have to dig up some more. Okay, these are the eights. I checked the thrust washer and if I take out 10 thou, I only got a three or four left. And with a rock of the gear in there, that'd be too tight. So we don't want to do that. Clearance itself by burning everything up. So that'd be a bad thing. Okay, these are eight tenths. Okay, let me put all this back away. I'll be back. All right, we're back. So I found some extra rollers, mixed in my 45 training parts. 
same roller. So I have some in there. So we're good. Okay, now put this thing in there. It feels a lot better. It feels like a shit now. Okay, this is spacer I made up to replace the sprocket. So you can tighten this thing down, it won't fall apart. It won't drop on the on the floor while you're working on it here. Send up the other parts. I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna set up here, but we'll see. Okay, it's going to damn not to go on. Come on, piece of crap. There it goes. Okay, that's all tight. So here's our in play. Okay, so here's our rock now. Before it was rocking all over the place, now it's not. So it's tight this way and it's loose side this direction here. So this is how this is our loose this way. You can't really see it. This is our tight direction here, which you definitely can't feel. You can't see, I mean. So it's a lot tighter than was. If you take the nut off. You can see it in there now a little bit. That's our loose way. This is tight. Has almost no play this way. It's pretty tight that way. But it spins freely, so we're gonna run it. It's probably only half a thou clearance that other way. But it spins freely, no binding. That's the key, no binding. So those other rollers, I don't know what the hell they were thinking. But they definitely were not the right size. Okay, so that part is in there, fitted. And now what we need to do is we need to see what else we want to do next. We need to make sure the kind of main shaft fits in there. I think we did that before. So stick that in there like that. Make sure it has a little clearance in there. There's a little bit, not too bad. Pull it back a little bit. Okay, that'll work. I don't usually pre-fit this side here. So this is pretty much it for the pre-fitting on this part. So we pretty much can take this out and let it drop to the ground. A little grease in there and a second time to put it in. So you can see how they kind of stay in there a little bit with a uh, with the grease on it. Of course now it's all going to come out. I don't want it to stay. Could take 10th out of my inflay, but I think it'd be pretty tight if I did that, so I don't want to be tight. Better to be loose and tight on this stuff. Okay, those rollers go over there. They are fitted to that side. Oh, this stuff can go over here too. Okay. That was a big, big part getting done. Okay, next thing is, is counter shaft. So this one is all full of goop. So I had to clean this all up and spray it and play with it, get it all come apart. So that took a little bit of work. So we'll see how this goes next. So we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 